Within a week of arriving at Davis, we were flown out for overnight survival training. The Vestfold Hills is pretty rocky at this time of year, but Ellis Fjord was still full of sea life. This is looking back to Tarbuck where we have a radio repeater. From Watts Hut we followed the fjord to Marine Plain and enjoyed a sunset, although it doesn't actually set, before sleeping in our bivvy bags. The AGSOs, or Aviation Ground Support Officers, were setting up an airstrip on the ice plateau. We went to fix the anemometer on the weather station, which only took an hour or so. This is inside a Haglin, known as the Yellow Hag for short. Are we here Tim with it? So, we came up with this ourselves. This is Long Fjord and the northern part of the Vestfolds from the edge of the ice plateau. This penguin has been hanging around the base for a few days. A little lost, apparently. Due to persistent loitering and begging, I jagged this trip to, well, nowhere. We didn't end up landing as no suitable site was found. Snake is a bit of a character. This is Marine Bay, we've walked across it only two and a half weeks ago. And back to Davis. Elephant seals are funny to watch. They spend most of their time sleeping, but can be energetic up to a maximum time of 10 seconds. We took it in turns to have recreational boating trips in the calm evenings off Davis. Another training exercise out at Treya Ridge with a wintering SAR team this time. It was a good excuse for another helicopter trip. visited Barb where she spent almost all of her summer and the Rower Island group on the other side of the Sorcell Glacier. So we're at yeah. Thila Hut, Cut. <laughs> and we're going to find some snow petrels. Snow petrels, that's correct. And Hopefully. Um, this is the little tag that we hope is on one of them, is that right? Two of them even. Two. Maybe even three, but hopefully two. So it gets the exact lighting for the exact times for over a period of a year. Well, that we is hope. the theory, and we hope, however, <laughs> any any shading, you know, as soon as the bird lands anywhere and sits on an ice floor, for example, of course, yep. it tucks the feet under and it's dark. Yep. And that really makes it extremely difficult to, yeah. to analyze these data. So it's a bit of a theory meets practice thing. 
Very much so. <laughs> Very and good. I think the theory is winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sparkly stuff for me. Yep, the red stuff. Mm. Oh, that's just some mica. Mm. Pretty sparkly stuff as well. See, all this is basically garnet sand. So how's that one going? Well, he's still sitting on an egg. Okay. And um, it's, it's, it's his little mate who's carrying the tag. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen him yet. You know, we've been checking this nest now for five days. Mm. And every day that passes, the chances of the mate returning, he's still alive. I agree mm. with the sun. So today, maybe tomorrow. Just as the ship's supposed to turn up. It's the windiest it's been all summer. 80 k's average, 80 to 90, 100. Cuts over 100 k's. So we're running into the wind now. Well, I'm standing there and facing into the wind, and I want the sunnies up ahead. And they landed down there. And they've been blown off the edge. I think I can find them. You don't really want to look into the wind without them. What a bridge. Here they are. Beautiful. Slugs Billy calls them. And they're looking at me. Summer is busy. We got to see some things that we won't see in the winter. But then again, winter isn't exactly boring either.